Hey, seventh graders, it's time to do a little bit of grammar tonight and make sure um, that you're not insecure about when to use the correct verbs in a sentence. So um, go ahead and get out your English workshop book with a pen and a pencil and we'll get ready to do our next lesson. Okay, let's turn to page 175 and the, the name of the lesson is Intervening Phrases. And I immediately think of prepositional phrases, but it could also be a positive phrases. So um, now that you have your book open to page 175 and you have your pen and pencil ready, let's get started. Please highlight rule number seven or 14C. The number of the subject is not changed by a phrase following the subject. Now go ahead and underline the next bit of information. Remember that a verb agrees in number with its subject. The subject is never part of a prepositional phrase. So let's look at the first example and the second example. The curtain behind the actors is new. Okay, the verb agree it is agrees with the subject curtain. Now look at the next one. This, the books on that shelf are dictionaries. The verb agrees with the subject books. To cross out the prepositional phrases behind the actors so that you can see very clearly that curtain is new. I mean that's how I figure it out every time. I pretty much just eliminate the intervening phrase by crossing it out either on the page or in my mind and then I'll know how to say it or write it correctly. Look at the next one, the books on that shelf. Cross out on that shelf. And so you have what's left, the books are dictionaries and it makes it much more simplistic. Continue um, highlighting and underlining with the next um, part of that introductory information. Compound prepositions such as together with, in addition to, as well as, and along with, following the subject do not affect the number of the subject. So um, let's look at the examples. Leona, cross out, as well as her parents, is visiting us. So you have Leona is visiting us. Look at the next one, the lettuce, now cross out the prepositional phrases, in addition to the tomatoes, has been washed. So you have the lettuce has been washed. Now we're going to do exercise three, identifying subjects and verbs that agree in number. Go ahead and highlight the instructions. In each of the following sentences, underline the verb form that agrees with the subject, then underline the subject twice. And I also want you to do one other thing. I want you to cross out the prepositional phrase or the appositive phrase or any kind of intervening phrase, okay? Now, I want you to do number 1 through 20. So you're going to do number 1 through 10 on page 175. Then you're going to do number 11 through 20 on page 176. Um, go ahead and pause the um, video right now because I want you to do all all 1 through 20 and then turn it back on and you can check all your answers. So pause it right now, do number 1 through 20. Okay, now that you've done number 1 through 20, please check your answers. Um, this first screen you're going to see are the answers for number 1 through 10. You can pause this um, video and look at these answers and check yours and make sure you chose the correct verbs to go with the, the subjects. Make sure you've double underlined the subjects and single underlined the predicate and then also that you've crossed out the intervening phrases. So check number one through ten right now. Okay, now um, check number one, or excuse me, eleven through twenty on the following page. And once again, please make sure you've double underlined the subject and um, single underline the, the, the verb choice and crossed out the intervening phrases. Might need to um, pause the video at this point to make sure you've, you've checked all very well and, um, and that you've been careful in, in choosing your answers. Hey, good job. Uh, make sure you put your book in your backpack right now so that it can make it back to school tomorrow. Uh, Ms. Naylor and I will both be checking th these assignments when you come to class on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and um, we want to make sure you get a check grade. It's minus 10 if you don't get this done and you don't bring it back to school to show us, so make sure you're responsible tonight. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. This is Riley Rains coming from room 218. Make good choices and don't do drugs.